Hi, it's Richard here from the smartthermostatshop.co.uk. Today, I'm going to show you how to pair a DT4R to a BDR91 wireless relay box. So to do this, it's quite simple. All we need to do is clear the existing pairing off your BDR91. So BDR91s do come in different, different um, formats, okay? So this is the typical BDR91, okay? But it can look like this as well. So if you've got one of these, that's not a problem, they still work. And also you get these with a slightly bigger button on them as well. Okay, if you have got the uh, rectangular one, that's not a BDR91 and it, this, will, this procedure will not work. And this thermostat will not work with that receiver either. Okay, so what we need to do first, we need to press and hold the BDR91 button and keep it held for about 15 seconds until you get the faster flash. So this is the slow flash, which happens at five seconds. And then after about 15, you'll see this turn from a slow flash to a fast flash. At that point, you can let go. Then on the uh, DT4R, if you press and hold the button on the middle of it, you'll get parameters come up. If you press the plus button, you'll get RF come up. If you press the RF button and scroll across, if you see clear, press the button in the middle and it will clear any existing pairing that's on this thermostat. Okay. Once you've done that, then if you then scroll across and leave it in boiler mode, then on the receiver, press and hold the button for about five seconds until you get the slower flash, let go. Then on the thermostat, oh, press wrong one. If you go back to boiler like this, make sure this device and this device is about two meters apart. I'm going to have a go here just for the video purpose. I'm going to press the middle button and see if it pairs, which it has done. So it has successfully paired to this device. OK, that might not happen. If you've got these too close, then that might not work. OK, if it doesn't work, what you saw before, if you rewind the video, you'll see it come up with the RF symbol at the top there and then it had a number one. If it doesn't work, this will show a zero. OK, you'll get the RF symbol and it will show a zero and it will go back to the menu. If it's successful and it gets the one, this will happen like this. So it will all, once it's got the um, binding memory, this, the light on here will go out and the, this will de-illuminate after a little while, okay? So to test it, if I, um, if I just press the middle button once and then turn this thermostat all the way up to like 25 degrees, okay, somewhere like that, then let go of it, okay? And it'll flash to accept the change of temperature. And then what should happen is your receiver should click on green light like that to show that that's been successful. You go back to your thermostat now, press the middle button again, and then if you press the minus button and then turn it all the way back down. So if you turn it down to like 15 degrees or something like that, like so. And then again, let it flash, let it accept the temperature that you've just put in it. Okay, and then what should happen is the green light should go off. If that's happened, that's all successful and your pairing is complete. If, if it's something's gone wrong, just follow the video again, start afresh and, and do the video again, okay? If you have any problems at all, put a comment down in the video and uh, we can try and assist. Alternatively, contact Residio directly on 0300 130 1299. That's 0300 130 1299 and choose option three and they can assist you. Thanks very much for watching. I hope my video has been helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.